Hello everyone! So today I'm going to show you how to make a hanging wall scroll frame type thing for your diamond painting or for anything really, even just canvas, artwork, whatnot. So I have my diamond painting here. Um, I have not sealed it yet. This has actually been under my mattress for quite some time, probably close to a month now, to just kind of get it nice and flat and no popping drills or anything. And I'm going to seal it now, especially since this is not going to be framed, so it's just going to be its bare thing hanging basically on the wall. So I don't want any drills falling off over time and this and that, especially since it's going in my Christmas decor, so that's going to get packed up every year. Anyway, what I'm going to use to seal it is polycrylic. This is just in an old mustard bottle, um, but it's polycrylic gloss, uh, water-based. Um, you don't want matte, you don't want satin. Uh, because it will take away the sparkle of things. So, what I'm gonna do is... Oh, I need a brush. Give a good squirt everywhere. Um, I got a nice big brush. And then we're just gonna brush this in. Make sure you get over the edge so it seals the edges down as well. And just brush this in so it gets all those diamonds. It'll be a little cloudy but it will get clear when it dries. So I'll do this and come back when I'm done. All right, so we brushed that all in. Make sure you go up and down and left and right to make sure you get all into all the drills as such. And now what we're going to do, this is the part I learned the hard way. You can't just leave it like this. It will take away the sparkle. So what you have to do is actually wipe off the top of the drills. So what I like to do, I take, this is a shop towel. Make sure to check the description. I'll post links to everything that I'm using here. Um, so there. So, and then I'll take some water just so I can dampen this up a little bit. So you want a damp towel. I've heard you can use microfiber cloth, but I don't know, that still seems kind of fuzzy to me. This doesn't have much fuzz that comes off of it, so we don't really want to get that in the painting. And then what we're going to do is just wipe off the top of the drills. And you kind of want to just fold your towel over so, you know, because it gets full of the stuff anyway. And you don't want to put it back on, so left and right, up and down, and we'll just wipe off the tops. This will keep the facets clear, but glue them in, basically. And the facets are what makes it sparkle, so you don't really want the tops covered with a bunch of goo. So yeah, just go over that a few times. I'll probably do it a couple more times just to make sure. And um, then we'll let it dry and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Alrighty, we are back. I let this dry overnight to make sure it is good and dry. Um, so now we have our nice sealed diamond painting. And you can see since we wiped the diamonds off, they still got a nice shine to them. And uh, so we're ready to start the framing. Um, so what are we going to need is some sort of little hacksaw or saw or something. I have this. I'm going to give this a shot first because it's just easier. Otherwise, I can grab the big saw out of the garage, but this should be fine uh, if I don't break it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and I have here um, basically a piece of small molding that I stained yesterday after I, after I sealed this. I just stained this because um, I wanted... Um, this is a nicer color, I think. Um, it was just plain wood, and uh, I stained it to this color. So now what we're going to do, um, you can get this at like a hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, stuff like that. It should be fairly cheap, a few bucks. Um, and it's really long, so that's why it's not fitting in the video, because usually they come in like 8 feet, 6 feet, stuff like that. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to measure from here to here, and add a little bit because I kind of want it hanging off the edges for a little bit more of like a scroll type look. Um, you can try and get it as flat as you want if you want that. Otherwise, I'm just going to probably measure about this wide um, for the top and the bottom. So then you're going to cut two pieces about this wide. 
All right, so as you can see, the hacksaw just worked fine. Um, if you had a little miter box, you'd be able to do it probably quicker and easier, uh, but this worked just fine. Um, then you're going to want to file the edge because you don't really want that, you know. Um, and then eventually, if you want to finish the edge, you can stain it to match this. I might just paint it black because I'm lazy and don't feel like staining it again. Um, and the stain smells, so. <laughs> so we're going to file this flat so we have a nice safe edge here and straight edge. Cut it as straight as I could. Um, but like I said, you're probably better off with a little miter box. I'll put a link in the description. They're pretty cheap. Easy to get. And that's good enough. So now we have our top piece, and let's bring this over and see how it looks for good. Let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think I like it. So there's the top. I'm going to cut one more for the bottom, and I'll come back when that's done. All right, so now we have our two pieces here. One and two. And what I'm going to do next is line them up to where I want them. Obviously, again, right against the drills there as best as you can. Um, and what I'm going to do now is draw a line. We line this up, and now we drew a line across the top. And we draw a line across the bottom. And now we're going to cut off this excess here. You can get a little shorter than this, that's fine too. It doesn't have to be super neat. Um, so you just want to know where you have to cut to. So probably cut a little shorter than the line that you drew. And we're also going to cut off the sides right up to the drill. And here's what it looks like when we did all of our cuttings. So now the canvas should not go past the molding piece here. I could probably even cut this a little bit more just to be safe but um, that's fine. Another thing you might want to do as a safety precaution, or I guess not really safety, but um, you may want to take some more sealer and just go along the edge with some sealer, um, like how we did on the front. Just go along the edge to make sure you really secure those edge drills in since we cut the edge now. So I'm going to do that um, at some point as well, probably fit when I'm finished here, because I'm showing you guys. So. Next, we're going to turn this over. I'm going to probably put lay some down here because this is my studio floor. It's disgusting. I don't want to mess up the actual painting. Uh, we're going to turn this upside down and basically staple the canvas to the, the wood. All right, so I flipped things over, and as you can see, it's already covered in pet hair on the back here because the uh, Diamond Art Club canvases are like velvety, so you got to be kind of careful of where you're laying this thing. Um, but I'll deal with this later with a little rolly thing. Um, it's just for me anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so, now what we're going to do, what did I just do? going to need one of these doohickeys, which is one of those heavy-duty stapler guns. Um, um, I have some duct tape here, just closest tape I can grab, just so we can make sure nothing moves when we do this. Um, thinking ahead. So what we're going to do, you turn over your molding here, and you want to get closer over here so I can see what I'm doing. So actually, what I'll do, let's start on the other side first. With this. And we'll take this. We'll take our tape, like this. Like this. So now we can easily line this up and make sure it looks good before we staple it in. Uh, let's center this. I'm just kind of going by eye. If you want to be more precise, go right ahead. And then we're just going to press it down and kind of fold this tape up so it stays. That. Try this again. It's just a temporary hold. So we see what we're doing. Okay. So now let's turn this over. And now we know we're lined up. Take our staple gun. Now I don't think I've ever really done this before with this thing, so hopefully I can not destroy this. Um, and let's start in the corner here. And can you see? Yes. And then get a staple. 
Okay, that did not go as I planned. Hmm. Well, holding it there, I think I have to press harder. Let's Just not staple my foot. Make sure this doesn't move. I think it's because this moved. Let's try this again. This doesn't seem to want to go in the thing. Okay, so it turns out the staples I have in that staple gun are actually just too big. Um, they're too long. I probably need the quarter of an inch for this. So if you have the proper size staples for the staple gun, that will be your best bet, your strongest bet. Um, I'm just going to use a regular staple. Stapler. And I tried it out and it seems to work just fine. You just got to be a little, uh, you know, a little rough with it. So, what I did was basically put it where I want the staple. And you kind of have to do it pretty rough. And it gets it in there mostly. So, I'm going to do this across the board. Like I said, this one's for myself, so it doesn't really matter as long as it stays on here. Again, I would recommend using the the heavy-duty stapler gun thing because that really gets it in there. Um, it's just that my staples are just too long. All right, so it worked. Um, it wasn't ideal. I kind of wish I had the right staples for my staple gun, but I'm just too... Uh, lazy to wait and finish this video. So, um, was this ideal? No. Does it work? Yes. Um, so it is hanging. It is, it is holding. That's all I really care about for mine. So, um, I'm fine with this. Again, get yourself the proper staples for a hand staple thingy. So this is holding. Now what I'm going to do, and I would have done this also with the other staple, is I'm going to, um, do some sort of heavy duty tape um, along the back because you don't really want this metal stuff against your wall because it may scratch it. I don't really want to deal with that. So I'm just going to cover it with some nice heavy duty tape. This is just duct tape. So it does not scratch our walls. It'll also give us some extra hold too, especially since I have to do it with staplers. Staplers rather. And make sure this does not show. But I still wanted it a little over the edge so I can get that extra security there. So same thing on the side. Alright, get a nice good grab and here we have it for the top. Um, I'm going to do this again for the bottom and I will be back. And there we have it. Top and bottom is secured. Do them both the same way. Use regular staples. Um, and then covered it with the duct tape. Again, not ideal with the regular stapler gun, but it does work and it's totally fine. Um, so I would recommend using the heavy duty stapler, but again, it works. So there are many options that you can use to do the, um, what to attach the hanger with. Um, I was going to, if my real stapler worked, I was going to just basically just staple you know, staple one end, staple the other end, and it was good. But I'm not too keen on using the regular uh, staple gun for that because it's just it's not as heavy duty, and I don't trust it as much for that um, because it is holding the whole weight of the painting up with just those two points. This at least you have the whole top across, so you're fine with the regular staple gun here. So instead, I'm going to, and this might even be a better look anyway. So what I'm going to do for this one is use these little eye hooks. We're going to screw them into the top. And then we can use our ribbon to go around and maybe even make a big bow on the top, which would be nice because it's a nice little holiday piece and it'll probably look really cute. So I'm going to do that. All right, now to attach the ribbon. Originally, I had it attached where it went through and I tied a bow up here, but I wasn't crazy about how the ribbon looked along there. So I'm going to do a different way that I'm thinking might look better. So I'm going to come in the back here. Come in the back here. That should be good. So now I'm going to tie this to secure it. Really good. Just 
do double for big measure. on here and then I'm gonna make two little bows I'm just gonna hang from here like that so I'll be right back when I finish that and there you have it we have our little hanging I decided to make two little bows here um, just use some hot glue uh, this ribbon is from Dollar Tree by the way and so is this little fancy looking ribbon stuff um, so a little bit of hot glue and I just also shoved some hot glue into where we tied this just to give it a little more sturdy so it doesn't come untied and fall off the wall. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to put this on the wall and show you at the end what it looks like all hung up. But there you have it, a simple, easy and quick way to do a custom scroll frame for your diamond paintings or other artwork. Um, so I just wanted to show you the basic way to uh, do this that doesn't cost a lot of money and gets it done pretty quick. So yeah, without further ado, I'll put this on the wall and show you guys what it looks like.